Hello, my name is Asya, nice to meet you and welcome back to my channel if you already know me. I am trying to go back to YouTube and it's a bit hard right now because I have work, I am busy, I am tired constantly. So today I decided to make an experiment and make a short video for my channel. Usually I like to make very long videos where I chat and paint for like 30 20 minutes but i think today's video is going to be 10 ish minutes and i hope you will like it please let me know what kind of videos do you like more short or long anyways um so today i'll show you one day of my life uh plan for today is first we're going to no first i want to show you a couple new art supplies i purchased then i want to show you a couple new paintings i did and then we are going to paint in my studio here and then i'll take you to the coffee shop with me on the art date date <laughs> um yeah that's that's the whole plan and as always i hope you have your art supplies so you can watch my video or put me on the background paint something have a nice beverage and enjoy our time together That was cringy. It was. Hello, welcome to the tiny art hall. And um, I didn't buy much this time because I honestly don't need much and I'm not the hoarder. <laughs> so usually when I go to the art store, I only purchase something that I really need and that and that something that I'm definitely going to use. So uh, let me show you my new brushes first. Since I started doing oil paint, oil paintings, I decided to purchase more oil brushes because this is the only oil brushes I have and they're super bad quality because I bought them, they were very cheap and I bought them to, you know, just try and see if I want to paint with oils and I do one, so I decided to invest into uh, better oil brushes. So here we have uh, the brand is called Royal, and it has fan brush for oil. I love fan brushes because they are super awesome for painting uh, landscapes and hair. And one day I want to make a video about uh, fan brush and how to use it and all the tricks you can do with it. But for now, I definitely need one for oil paints, and uh, I'm glad I purchased it. I also like the... it's pretty beautiful. I like this green tip. I think it's it's not necessary, but it is very cute detail, which, which I find very, very nice. <laughs> uh, next brush is also the same brand, Royal, but the size is... It's size 10 and it is very big brush for, um, well, basically I, I switched to small canvases and I don't paint big can on big canvases anymore, but recently I've noticed that I have a lot of big canvases and I decided to try and paint on them again. That's why I need bigger brushes because the biggest brush I have right now is this one but it's not for oil it was my super old gouache acrylic brush but you know obviously because of the different uh hair it's it doesn't work for oil as well so i purchased this one to replace my old brush next brush i have is just basic um I don't I don't think it is hawk hair. I feel like it is plastic, but I didn't want to buy super expensive big brush just because I use it for um for the background, not for the details. So I I purchased this one. It was pretty cheap and the brand is called Pro Art. It's is it one inch? I guess it is one inch and the quality is very nice. I I like it, I have no complaints about it, and I think it will work great on my big canvases. 
and help me paint backgrounds faster. Next we have uh, oil white, titanium white oil paint and the reason I bought only one color is because I go through white super fast so no matter what I use for painting oil, acrylic or gouache I always purchase additional whites because it's really hard to replace white with any other colors so I still have some white but uh, I'm running out of it super fast so I decided to purchase additional titanium white so I don't have to worry about it when I paint and last but not least I have a sketchbook it is let me read you so I put a sticker on the back page just in case I need all the information so the brand is Pentalic and it's pretty good brand actually I had my uh, gouache sketchbook by this brand and I loved it this sketchbook is not for water medium it's more for like pencils and liners the quality of paper is 114 grams which is it is fine just don't paint anything with gouache or watercolor here the all the paper will go wavy i think and it has 220 pages i purchased this sketchbook specifically for how can i say it uh for practicing for sketches <laughs> if that makes sense but basically i'm not going to use it for anything like any legit good quality finished artworks more like grab it with me to the coffee shop or do sketches while i work and it's going to be um kind of like ugly sketchbook hello friend <laughs> and yeah that's why i didn't try to buy a super good quality sketchbook but i like the size it's very convenient not too big not too small and i already painted something here i can even show you this is avor it's a guy from the video game i play if you played assassin's creed valhalla you know him if not, it is just handsome viking for you guys. <laughs> oh, I have one more art supply to show you. I also purchased a oval canvas. And I bought it, I think, in Hobby Lobby. And of course, if you know Hobby Lobby, they always have crazy discounts. And the price is wrong. It was... might be like $4. <laughs> yeah, but... I want to paint on this canvas with oil and I don't know maybe put somewhere in my house because I really like the oval shape of it I think it looks kind of vintagey but yeah that's that's all the all the uh, <laughs> all the art supplies I have for you guys story time so right here I wanted to put like two horizontal uh, paintings to finish the composition and oh such a mess I was filming here <laughs> anyways and I started painting one but I forgot that it should be horizontal and I painted it vertical so let me show you this one but unfortunately I couldn't put it on the wall in my studio because as I mentioned before it's not a horizontal painting so I decided to put it in our living room and I think it looks great here. One more painting is this one. It's not finished yet. Um, it is a horse for uh, our aunt and it is her horse. We want to give it to her as a present and it is oil painting. It's still wet so I hanged it on my easel and I hope it won't make walls or anything else dirty because you know oil dries for a few days and i think it's still still not completely dry well, it's fine but it needs one more day i think and yeah it will be uh, a present for her but for now the background is not finished 
and the horse needs a little bit more details, especially face. I don't know if I showed you this painting before, but this is super huge painting that I don't know where to put, maybe on this wall, but it's a painting of my friend. I like her photo with lily pads so much, so it inspired me to paint this painting. That's all the new stuff I have to show you for now. Uh, let's get this sketchbook and I want to draw some practice to draw some historical costumes and the reason is uh, soon I will start working on illustrating a book and it's about I'm not sure I can talk about it anyway so I need to practice some Greek or Roman historical outfits and I want to do it in this sketchbook. I have prepared art supplies that I will need for this project and I have some Pinterest pictures I'm going to use. Ooh, Assassin's Creed is everywhere. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, let's get started. Trying to believe I can't trust My inner soul and my guts Spew out from my own disgust With inner angels I must Fly higher than they could Cause I know I'll never be one No, I will never be so Break what you wanna take What you wanna say What you wanna say
have finished working on my uh, historical costumes and I think it's time to go to the coffee shop. Why is there a big deal of work here? Husband is ready to go to the coffee shop. Mm -hmm. Knock knock. Who's there? Take wife on a date. No. Come back in spring. I'm starting to think that I do things way too differently to take this seriously. And all of the times that we said we go to therapy, we still we never been. Yeah, yeah. But things don't change. Cinnabon caramel apple chai. Not for that. That's it for today. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had an amazing day today. Sorry, too many cars. I hope you can hear me. Um, I just wanted to say goodbye and to wish you, as always, to stay positive, stay creative, and I'll see you in my next videos. Bye!